Recently, we devoted an entire show to celebrating some of the 2019-2020 winners of the WHS 11 Excel Award, sponsored by lg KU. But this morning, we're highlighting yet another excellent educator, Matthew Haynes of Southern High School, where he's also an alum. Matthew is with us this morning, along with Liz Pratt of lg KU, which is partnered with WHS 11 to provide the Excel Awards to deserving instructors. Good morning to you both. Liz, I want to start with you because you were at the actual ceremony when Matthew received the award. What struck you about him? You know, I would say first is um, the teacher, or excuse me, the student's enthusiasm as Matthew was receiving the award. And then also too, you know, uh, something that one of his nominators said is that he's an ambassador for both the school as a whole and also the school's machine tool program where he's a teacher. And so it really just struck how uh, how his passion, you know, was both for his students and what he's, you know, enriching on them with, you know, what he's teaching, but also, you know, for the program as a whole. Now, Matthew, you you, you graduated, and, and correct me on any of this if I'm wrong, in 2009, and then you returned five years later as a teacher. I mean, what was that like to really, I mean, kind of turn the table? It was a really wild experience to be on the other side of the desk. I mean, I spent three years sitting in the classroom that I now teach in, the machines that I learned on, I'm now teaching students on. So it's a really neat experience, but um, I think it's also a testament to the program that I went through it, was able to find success in the industry and learn enough that I could come back and teach uh, other students that wanna pursue it as a career. Do you think that, I mean, the actual fact that you used to stare at the desk that you sit in, and now that role has been reversed, but you know what that was like. I mean, that wasn't that long ago. You know what that was like to sit in the classroom as a student. Do you think that that has benefited you as an educator? Absolutely. I remember um, as a student, just wanting to get over into that shop, wanting to get my hands on machines, get my hands dirty and make things. And so that's how I try to run my classroom with let's let's dig into the stuff. Let's let's go over there and crank some handles. Let's make some chips. Let's actually make some parts and try to find projects that are actually useful. So we try to take on projects for other teachers that need things. And we just really try to make meaning out of it um, so that these students can really graduate with some top notch skills. Now, Liz, of course, with lg KU, I mean, part of what you do with the sponsorship, it's I mean, the award is very i mean it, it's very competitive and i mean it's an elite award but liz lg and eku also sponsors another aspect of it that's really important we do you know we are so you know, thankful to be a part of the ceremony and to be a part of the awards program but also at um at each ceremony we also present the teachers with a um with a check for one thousand dollars to be used toward their classrooms so Matthew, then the big question is, how do you use a thousand dollar instructional grant? What are you doing? Well, uh, being in a skilled trade, a thousand dollars doesn't go super far for tools. So I thought the best way to really make good use out of that money, um, we have a lot of students that potentially do not have the proper clothes for interviews and that could really mess with their confidence. And we don't want that to be a hindrance to them getting gainful employment. So we'll be um, working with some retail stores to try to create an interview wardrobe closet. So students that are gonna be going out into interviews, they'll have ties, they'll have shirts, shoes, anything they may, may need to feel confident and to look the part to really get out. And I think it does a great job of you know, addressing the racial equity issue, the poverty issue. Um, we wanna make sure that every student has a good potential to get out and get the job they want. Now, Liz, you hire at lg and I mean, you are hiring people for a variety of different aspects of lg and KU. How important is that? And also, what do you think about someone who is in the field that Matthew is in? I mean, to utilize that instructional grant in such a way that, I mean, it's it really going to affect students, I mean, more than just putting tools in hand. Absolutely. So the Excel Awards are one of our company's larger efforts to support education as a whole. 
And another area that we focus on is helping support programs that introduce students to careers and trades here in our community. Because you know, we know these students are our community's future leaders. So we want to look for opportunities to help introduce them um, to what's available here locally. So that way we can, you know, in fact, bring them here to be a part of our community's workforce. Absolutely. Now, Matthew, I'm gonna read this verbatim. When we were, you know, when you were receiving the Excel Award, um, Assistant Principal Julie Lawrence said that you represent a new breed of teachers, which is important in moving JCPS forward. You push your students to apply what they have learned in the classroom with area businesses through various internships and job opportunities. I mean, to be called a new breed of teacher and imperative to moving JCPS forward, I mean, how did that feel to receive such high praise? You know, it was a lot, especially considering that Miss Lawrence, you know, was a teacher when I was in Southern. And so to hear her look at me as that new breed that could help push JCPS forward, it really meant a lot. And I think it's all about making sure that students find a connection in what they're learning to what they could be doing in the future. So often you hear students say that, well, when am I ever going to need this? And so even if I have a student in my classroom that doesn't want to be a machinist, I try to think through, well, what can I offer them that's related to the content but can help them in a variety of other ways? And I think doing that allows them to really grab on to the learning and make it their own and create some ownership in it. Um, I have a lot of students that want to go into healthcare. So when we go through safety, we talk a lot about that. I have a student that wanted to go into engineering, and so he did a lot of the design work for the project we were doing. And so it's really all about find, like getting to know each one of your students and finding a great way to connect your content to what they want to do. That's, I find that so interesting that you have such a broad array of students in your classroom. Why did you become a teacher? Well, uh, I became a teacher because I really enjoyed training people um, when I was out in the industry, when I was a machinist, I was a salesman for software. I really enjoyed being with people um, and teaching them something new. And so when I heard that the opening at the school that I graduated from was looking for a shop teacher, uh, I had to jump right on it because I could train future machinists. Um, but I also wanted to try to be a teacher that was putting out well-rounded students. We work a lot on soft skills. We work a lot on employability, uh, conflict resolution. Try to cultivate a student as a you know, lifelong learner and I think being with the Academies of Louisville helps that because the entire school is focused around the career teams. And so the students that are in my class, they are part of the Metal Academy, and then they really buy into that small school. Now, Matthew, last question for you, and, and we've asked this of all of our Excel Award winners. I think it's my favorite question. Uh, Liz, you've shared before, as have I, that our favorite educators happen to be people in our families' lives. But also, I mean, it's so much fun listening to you. You are the educators and teachers that you will just never forget. And so, I mean, Liz, you know as well as anyone does, especially with your job, how imperative education is, even, even moving forward. Absolutely. Um, you know, being the daughter of a former educator, and also uh, for my experience as well, my sixth grade uh, science teacher, because that was really the first time, you know, as Matthew said, that connection where I really felt this opportunity to connect what I was learning in class through experiments and what we now know as STEM-based education. So, uh, so absolutely, just to see how powerful and impactful that connections can be between a, uh, an educator and their students. Now, Matthew, so it's it's your turn. I mean, we've already heard from a number of students who say you're their favorite teacher. So who's yours? Who's that teacher that you've just never forgotten? Uh, I think it's hard to pinpoint a specific teacher, but I don't remember, I was not a great high school student, but I don't remember much of the books that I read in high school. I don't remember much of you know the tests that I took. What I remember was the science labs where our hands were doing something. I remember English class writing about something meaningful to us. I remember my shop class, of course. Uh, we built picnic tables for the football field. And I remember watching the teacher at the time, Mr. Simon, orchestrate 
20 kids in this shop where some are drilling holes and some are welding and some are, you know, sawing the material. Those are the memories that I remember where my hand, hands and my mind were engaged in the learning. And uh, it made me a lifelong learner. I, I Google everything I can. I research stuff that I'm curious about. Um, I don't take, I'm not sure as a final answer. So when a student asks me something that I don't know, I like to say, well, let's go find out because that curiosity is what made me a lifelong learner. And I hope to do the same for my students. Well, congratulations to you, Matthew. Much deserved, that's for sure. Thank you. You can find our most recent Excel Award winners by visiting whs11.com slash Excel.